In the hit musical Hamilton, 1800s-era feminist Angelica Schuyler says she'll compel Thomas Jefferson to include women in the Declaration of Independence. Now, a new historical play spotlights two women who continued to fight for women's rights. Bull in a China Shop, opening this weekend at Diversionary Theater, tells the real-life story of Mary Woolley, president of Mount Holyoke College, and her long-term partner, Jeanette Marks. We came out for suffrage at just the right time. Mary Woolley was the president of Mount Holyoke Women's Seminary in the early 1900s, and um, she is very strong and um, outspoken, and she was on a mission to change that college from um, what was basically, as she describes in the play, a training ground for good pious wives into a true educational learning environment. This is a chance to rebuild an institution from the ground up. The play begins in 1899 and tackles everything from the suffrage movement to sexuality. It's also a portrait of Woolley and Marx's long-term same-sex relationship. And like Hamilton, it uses modern language and music. Just because it's about women who lived at the turn of the century does not mean that it's old at all. If anything, the music in the play is modern. We have a punk feminist rock vibe going on. The language is contemporary. Um, and I think anybody who sees this play is going to see that, yeah, women's struggles, LGBTQ struggles, they are rooted in something that goes back in time. They are not necessarily just for now. Bull in a China Shop premiered last year at New York's Lincoln Center and received positive reviews. But Strasberger didn't want to see any footage or photos from that production. Instead, she relied on her background as a UC San Diego history student to guide her vision. I try not to let myself, when I'm envisioning and working on a show, I don't want to mimic someone else's work. So I don't believe in microwave theater, you know? I don't want to re reheat someone, someone else's leftovers. This creation is our creation new for San Diego. But who exactly is a show like this for? It's about long-term love, history, and education, subjects that aren't considered the most exciting. But Glover thinks it's a story that even young girls will be able to appreciate. And there is some strong language in it, but honestly, I think girls 11 or 12 could see this show and um, be inspired and reminded of that fight. And honestly, I think teenage girls right now are pretty um, equality minded and activist minded, at least the ones I know. And so I think it's a show that teenage girls would really get a lot out of, and boys actually. For KPBS Arts, I'm Nina Guerin.